In his thought-provoking essay, Trust, America's Best Chance, Pete Buttigieg delves into the critical issue of trust in American society and its implications for our nation's future. Through a skillful combination of personal anecdotes, historical references, and persuasive arguments, Buttigieg persuasively argues that trust is not just a feel-good concept, but a fundamental building block of democracy, which, when eroded, poses a significant threat to the very fabric of our nation. Buttigieg opens his essay with a poignant story about his deployment to Afghanistan as a naval officer. He reflects on the implicit trust that soldiers place in one another, highlighting the importance of trust in such high-stakes situations. This anecdote serves as a powerful backdrop for his central argument about the broader implications of trust in society. Buttigieg emphasizes that trust is not only vital in military operations but also in civil society, where it underpins our social and political systems. The author further explores the historical context of trust, noting that the framers of the U.S. Constitution based the nation's foundation on the concept of trust. He discusses how the Founding Fathers aimed to create a government that was accountable to the people, grounded in the belief that citizens would trust the system. Buttigieg points out that trust is woven into the very fabric of the American experiment, and its erosion threatens the democratic principles upon which the nation was built. Buttigieg identifies several factors contributing to the decline of trust in America, including economic inequality, political polarization, and the role of technology. He asserts that economic inequality has led to a loss of faith in the system among those who feel left behind. This resentment and mistrust, he argues, pave the way for populist movements and demagogues who exploit people's disillusionment. Additionally, he highlights how political polarization has corroded trust in government institutions, as the extreme partisanship often leads to gridlock and a sense that elected officials prioritize party over the greater good. Buttigieg also underscores the role of technology, explaining how the spread of misinformation and the erosion of privacy have contributed to the breakdown of trust in societal institutions. The author proposes a series of potential solutions to rebuild trust in America. He emphasizes the importance of fostering a sense of unity and shared purpose. Buttigieg contends that the idea of a common project, where people from diverse backgrounds come together to address pressing issues, can help rekindle trust in our society. He calls for more robust civic education and engagement, citing the need to equip citizens with the critical thinking skills necessary to navigate the information age. Buttigieg also advocates for political reforms, such as eliminating gerrymandering and campaign finance reform, to mitigate the corrosive impact of money in politics. Furthermore, Buttigieg underscores the importance of a free press in maintaining trust in society. He argues that a free and independent media plays a crucial role in holding those in power accountable, making it a safeguard against corruption and abuse. The author encourages citizens to support and value journalism as a cornerstone of a functioning democracy. In conclusion, Pete Buttigieg's essay, Trust, America's Best Chance, provides a compelling exploration of the concept of trust in American society. Through a combination of personal narratives and historical insights, he effectively argues that trust is not just a feel-good notion but a vital component of a healthy democracy. Buttigieg demonstrates how the erosion of trust in various institutions and sectors has far-reaching consequences for the nation. He calls for a renewed commitment to rebuilding trust through unity, civic education, political reforms, and the protection of a free press. Ultimately, Buttigieg's essay serves as a call to action, urging Americans to recognize the importance of trust and work together to restore it as the cornerstone of our democracy.